After experimenting with several AI video platforms, like a chef sampling various ingredients before crafting the perfect dish, I found that Kling AI stands out from the crowd, much like a diamond gleaming amidst stones. However, there are a few key steps you need to follow to get the sharpest, most cinematic results. Think of it as following a recipe. Missing even one ingredient can alter the entire flavor. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a complete workflow for making incredible AI videos like this one using Kling AI. Imagine bringing your wildest ideas to life. Just as an artist paints vivid landscapes from imagination, or a composer crafts symphonies from mere notes. We'll start by logging into Kling AI and navigating to the AI video generator. Here, you have two options, text to video, create videos from prompts, like writing a script and watching it come to life. Image to video, use image references to build videos akin to animating a still photograph. To achieve the highest quality results, much like using a high definition camera instead of a basic one, I recommend using the image to video tool. This method provides a solid foundation, ensuring that the final product is as sharp and cinematic as possible. Now, let's say I want to create a story about a heroic dog soldier in a futuristic battle. Picture a blend between Call of Duty and the secret life of pets, but set in a sci-fi universe. For this video, I've prepared a set of image references from the Flux image generator on Kriya. These images are like the storyboard of our movie, setting the scene for the action to unfold. Let's quickly go over how I generated these images so you can do the same for your own projects. To generate our reference images that we're later going to bring to life with Kling AI, there are some important steps to follow if you want your videos to have a very high quality cinematic look. Think of it like preparing the finest ingredients before cooking a gourmet meal. First, I start by taking screenshots of the type of characters I want to use. You can find inspiration from various sources, be it online galleries, concept art, or even your own sketches. In my case, I browsed through the TikTok platform and gathered images that fit the theme of a heroic cats in a futuristic setting. It can be a dog or your favorite pet. I'm using the snipping tool that comes with your computer. For those who haven't used it before, it's a built-in application in Windows that allows you to capture screenshots of any part of your screen. It's incredibly handy, like having a digital pair of scissors at your fingertips. So now I have all my screenshots right here. Next, we'll head over to the free Leonardo AI image to prompt generator. This tool allows you to get your prompts instant if you're trying to recreate a certain style of image content. Think of it as having a translator that converts images into words. After logging into Leonardo AI, click on the magic icon on the prompt bar and select Describe with AI from the drop-down box. Import the image or images you want to generate prompts with. Give Leonardo AI some time to do its thing. Patience is key just like waiting for a photo to develop. While waiting, you might notice that the AI analyzes various aspects of the image, such as colors, shapes, and styles. It's dissecting the image to understand what makes it unique. You can now copy your generated image prompt or just click here to generate the images with Leonardo. In this case, however, I prefer to use another text-to-image generator called Kriya. Why Kriya, you ask? That's because Flux is the latest image generation tool that's giving Leonardo AI and Midjourney a run for their money. If Leonardo AI and Midjourney are like seasoned athletes, Flux is the new rising star making waves in the field. It's also the same image generation tool embedded in Grow within the X platform. I'm a big fan of Kriya AI, mainly because I've been using their image enhancement tool for quite some time now. As for image generation, I've been using Leonardo AI for the past few months. However, that might soon change based on what I'm seeing with Flux. Flux offers cutting edge features that really push the boundaries of what's possible with AI image generation. Its ability to produce highly detailed and stylistically diverse images makes it a powerful tool in any creator's arsenal. So after logging into Kriya, click on the Flux Generate Image button. Paste in the prompt you generated from the Leonardo Image to Prompt Generator. Click on the plus sign to select your style. Choosing the right style is like selecting a filter on Instagram. It sets the tone and mood of your image. Whether you're going for a gritty, realistic look, or a vibrant, cartoonish vibe, Flux has a variety of styles to choose from. Hit Generate and give the AI a couple of seconds to work its magic. After the images are generated, you can hover your mouse over any of them to generate another variation or click to download it. It's like having a professional photographer take multiple shots from different angles. You get to pick the best one. Next, click on the Enhance tab to start enhancing the images you just saved which adds even more intricate details. Higher resolution images lead to better video quality when you feed them into Kling AI's generator. Kriya's upscaler is excellent for bringing out textures and sharpness. 
Think of upscaling as polishing a gemstone. It brings out the clarity and brilliance that might not have been visible at first glance. By enhancing the images, you're ensuring that every detail pops, which translates into a more engaging video. After upscaling the image, download it for use in the next steps. Now, the fun part, animating the images using Kling AI. In the image to video interface, upload the upscaled images. Kling will use these as the first frame of the video. You can always toggle this to enable the end frame, giving you more control over how the animation transitions from start to finish, much like directing a scene in a movie. In the prompt, I described the animation, a humanoid dog in armor fighting in a futuristic war zone with no camera movement. Writing an effective prompt is crucial. It's like giving directions to a taxi drive. You need to be clear to get to your destination. Include details about the character, setting, and any specific actions or styles you want. The creativity slider determines how closely the AI follows the prompt, while the generation mode affects quality. For the best results, I suggest using professional mode. It may take longer, but produces much more detailed and realistic videos. But since this video is based on the free version, let's go with the standard mode. Standard mode is great for quick iterations and getting a feel for how your video might look. Professional mode, on the other hand, is like switching from standard definition to high definition. Everything becomes clearer and more refined. Typically, I keep the video length at five seconds. Longer videos can sometimes lead to shape deformations or inconsistencies, much like stretching a rubber band too far. Shorter clips ensure that the AI maintains quality throughout the video. Once everything is set, scroll down and generate the video. Now, sit back and let Kling AI work its magic. It's like watching a 3D printer bring a digital model into the physical world. Kling AI excels at producing realistic videos and following the prompts more accurately than other platforms. However, sometimes the motion can be too exaggerated, which may cause changes to the character's shapes. To avoid this, use keywords like subtle motion or static camera for more controlled, natural movements. Experimenting with different keywords can significantly impact the outcome. For instance, adding cinematic lighting or slow motion can add dramatic effects to your video. If your video isn't quite right on the first try, remember that it's an iterative process. Like sculpting clay, you may need to refine it several times to get the desired result. Don't be discouraged. Each iteration brings you closer to your vision. And just like that, I've got a story unfolding, all from one prompt. It's literally that simple. Once I've got all my clips, I bring them to an editing software like CapCut. You don't have to use anything fancy. Even a simple editor works. Think of it like assembling pieces of a puzzle. You just need the right pieces. In CapCut, I arrange the clips in the desired sequence, trimming any unnecessary parts. I might also adjust the timing to ensure the flow of the story is just right. You can add a little music, maybe some sound effects. This adds depth and emotion to your video much like seasoning enhances the flavor of a dish. For instance, adding dramatic music can elevate the tension during battle scenes. Don't forget about transitions and effects. Simple crossfades or cuts can make your video look more professional. And there you go, a polished, professional-looking video that you made with just a few clicks and a couple of prompts. So that's how I create faceless YouTube videos using just prompts. It's crazy how much you can do with AI these days. And the best part, you don't need to show your face or know a thing about video editing. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to like the video and subscribe for more AI tips and tricks. Feel free to share your own creations or ask any questions in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.